So this is a Vanagon Synchro. This was uh, really quite a rare model. They made these all-wheel drive. The Synchro means all-wheel drive. So uh, very limited production run of Vanagons in either the non-camper or the camper were available as an all-wheel drive Synchro model. Um, there's a couple of very Synchro specific parts that are hard to get. And because you've seen my other Synchros in the other videos, this one might become a parts car to keep those ones alive. Still trying to determine that. I think this is probably too rusty to put back on the road easily, but there's a lot of good pieces. So for now, we're just gonna figure out how to get it out of here. That's the next adventure. Another adventure. Dan and I are packing up and we're about to go get two more buses. It sounds a little crazy when I say it. Anyway, I bought two buses last week, like totally on a whim, based on an email without any pictures. So we're gonna go drive like five hours or six hours and pull these buses out of a field and drag them home so we can rebuild them. It's gonna be fun, stay tuned. Um, and we haven't really seen them. We've seen five pictures total between the two cars. So I don't know, we know that they exist, but not a lot of details. It's gonna be a fun uh, year, but he's had them for a very long time. Um, one of them rolls, the other one does not. So, with Dan, and how's the truck doing? Does that check engine light blink? It's flashing. That's good. Beeping at the same time. It's getting better? Is it getting better? And there's no power. There's no power either. That's a good start. Luckily, we. Okay, we just got to our location. Here they are. This is our first look. This is an 84 or an 85 GL, which we're giving to Dan in exchange for transporting this beautiful 87 Synchro. Um, so we've taken a look and uh, the heads are off this car. It, they're in it, but this engine's not gonna run. We're not gonna get this driving. Um, that changes the situation a little bit, but we're just gonna tow it home. We're gonna make it work. We are gonna still look it over and make sure everything's there and get a little excited. So let's take the gander. I have not looked under the car yet. This is on a synchro, the you know the most important thing. And we have we have a transmission. We have a front diff. We do not have a prop shaft, but we do have a transmission. Uh, things under here I would describe as quite rusty. This is probably going to be a parts car. It's starting to look that way. It has, you know, your typical seam rust, but that's not that bad. It just, it does look pretty crusty. The Westy roof is staying, we're not taking that. Um, uh, the seller wants that. It has a straight bumper, and yeah, we'll, we'll look in the engine bay in a second here, but it's the part, so that's good. Let's look at this one. Ooh, this is not what I thought it was. This is actually quite rare. This is an 84 Wolfsburg. So this was a one year only kind of oddball thing. This has a blue corduroy interior that you, I'm sure it's shredded. They're notoriously shreddable. But yeah, this is a blue, this is an 84 Wolfsburg. That just snapped off. We just, you don't have this now, Dan. This is now broken. Oh. <laughs> Interesting, so this is an 84 Wolfsburg. Very unique interior panels, has AC, power steering, automatic. So the transmission's missing. Yeah. There's mousicles right there. It's got mousicles right there. It's, this is a pretty complete car. This will clean up. You can get this on the road. It's got seam rust right there. Let's look it over the rest of the way. It's straight. Sure, it's straight. It's got a lot of mice. A lot of mice. There's mouse evidence all through here. I mean, I mean that is stuffed with mice. This is just, they, they, they moused this thoroughly. Okay, well we towed it a little ways and now we're gonna tow it the rest of the ways. I'm going backwards, just following him. 
parking brake works great. Steering works fine. It has no brakes and uh, it smells distinctly of hantavirus in here. I can taste the mice. They don't taste good. They don't taste good. I'm with you, man. You sent that email out and I agreed to buy them in four minutes without any pictures. So obviously sometimes you just gotta, you gotta have them all. You gotta have them all. Okay, so this rear wheel is seized, we're told. We haven't tried to move it yet, so we're gonna pop this sucker up, bust that wheel off, hit it with a sledgehammer a bunch of times, and uh, I don't know, maybe we'll get it moved. We're gonna make it move, it's gonna work. There's, there's some, this sliding door makes noises. Oh. 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 Yeah, like a joke. Just gonna need a bigger hammer. <laughs> it's catching on those shoes for sure. So we're going to, it turns now, so we're gonna just back the shoes off a little bit so it doesn't bind up on us. We'll clean that drum up a little bit so it's Good to go. This brake line's probably not any good. I don't think that's the problem right there. Huh, it came off way too easy. Okay, we're well heating up the brake adjuster. Oh. Put the fire out. It'll move now. What's, what's happening? Oh, just getting the adjuster moving now. We'll back it off a little bit so she spins. Now that we've got the uh, brake adjuster moving, we're gonna lubricate it with some of the CRC power lube. This stuff's pretty good. I put it on everything. That drum looks okay. That's what we want. Cool! Both lug nuts are on. Whew, look at all the garbage. Let's see what we've got in here. I don't know what that goes to. That is not. Oh, there's the, pro the problem. I found the problem, Dan. It's probably. It's probably because the heads aren't on it. Yeah. Those heads look in okay shape, actually. Show me. So, a couple things we look for in a head cracks between the valves, which we'd have to clean them up more to see, but. There aren't any. Then this surface here, this is what goes bad. This is why head gasket jobs are needed so often. And this is not all pitted. This, uh, this head's actually very reconditionable. It's the factory VW castings too though, which is usually not as desirable as the AMC, but that's actually probably a usable head. Yeah, the heads are off it and the jugs are out. I don't think I'd, I mean, this has probably sat for 20 years with the heads off. I wouldn't plan to recondition this, but uh, otherwise, there's a lot of good components in here. And that's just not, that's not in good shape. I think we can get better ones. That one's, you know, there are many layers. I don't know, this is just a beautiful spot to sit and take a good shot. Dan told me to. Craig. Yeah. Um, you have a, a nice online. Yeah. Personality. Yeah. Mind if I have a seat? Yeah. You do. You, you're okay with us filming you? Uh, briefly. Okay, David, take a seat. You um, want to tell us the story of these buses? Bruce, let's tell us. Whatever. But um, you kept them. I I hope you. I hope you feel that um I feel like we did that, real that, good. That I haven't been greedy. 
<laughs> and it, and it, um, I couldn't be and happier. And this has been a fear. And and not only that, there's parts that I'm interested in that are in there. There's there's lots of good stuff, and I love this adventure. And I love. Hang on, let me just tell the people of the internet. Okay, so the game plan here is we're just gonna give it a little yank. I don't know if it's gonna move, but we're gonna see. It's doing stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, it's the other wheel. Stop. Front. Back left. Back left. Back left. Stop. We gotta pop the other wheel off. Back left. It's dragging. <laughs> well, naturally, that wheel's locked too. So we're gonna have to pop it up, hit it with the hammer a bunch of times. I don't know, but we gotta get it rolling. We're gonna fix this. This is a nice tool. Wow. I, love that thing. I didn't expect it to have quite this much power. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, I can feel it's st it's the drum stuck. The drum is stuck to the shoes. Yeah. Oh, she's falling! That was the jack. Second. Hey, so I screwed up and I was hitting it with a jack, or I was hitting it with a sledgehammer while it was on the jack and the whole car fell. Luckily, everyone's okay, no one was under it. We knew that was a risk, um, but now it's on the ground. I don't know if that's a better situation. So I think the new plan is gonna be bust this big nut loose and pull the whole hub off and then we can separate it off the car. That was on, let's take it off. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's pretty awesome. I can't believe that worked. That's fantastic. Still not coming off. I can't honestly remember if I pull this nut off if this whole assembly can come off then. I thought it could. No, it can. It can. It's just this inner hub and that. This should come off as a unit. So now we're just fighting the actual drum. Okay, we got this. Oh, you see that? This bolt's still on. None of this will come off if that bolt's still on. Oh, that's so stupid. Dan, we're so stupid. Got a lot of dust now. And they're out. Why can it not rotate? That's another disturbing thing then. I think it kind of doesn't matter at this point because if it can't rotate, but the drum is loose, then it's not a drum issue. You know what I'm saying? We have to take the axle off. We might have to take the axle off. We can do that. It's not move, the drum is moving independently of this. Right. So the brake is loose. So why the can't brake, we pull it off? There's nothing well, it's just got it. a lip. It's got a little lip worn into the shoe, into yeah. the drum. But the drum is not what's holding this car from dragging at this point. It, it doesn't make sense to me at this point, um, which is a little bit disturbing. Okay, so the issue right now is that the drum is actually loose, right? The problem is the drum is not what's holding us up. The transmission seems to be. So we can move the drum independently of the hub, but when we go to move the hub, we get some backlash at the axle on the transmission, but it will not rotate. For whatever reason, there is something seemingly locked inside the transmission. Oh wait, no, the other wheel is down. Mm -hmm. So because the other wheel is down, I shouldn't be able to freewheel this. So in theory, we have freed this up. Why is that that the other wheel is down? Because of the... Because the, the if I try to move this, I'd be moving the other wheel the other way because of the differential. Mm -hmm. So 
if both wheels were up, this should either, this should spin right now. I think maybe it is that the drum was just tight. We have loosened it up. I mean, we've ruined it, but <laughs> in theory, we can put this on a wheel and it, I bet it spins. Let's try it. Okay guys, so we got the wheel back on. We're just gonna see if it's gonna move. We're gonna try pulling it about three feet. Okay, give it a go. Yep, okay, she's rolling. Okay, give me uh, give me three more feet. Good, stop. Why did it do that? Yes and no. So, it spun, but at the last second, it kind of locked again. Well, let's, let's Okay, so the next thing we're doing, we're gonna lift the back end up the, of the car up so both rear wheels are off the ground and then we can see if there's something in the transmission giving us the problems. In theory, this should turn and it 100% doesn't. Let's see if the other one does. No reason why this, this wheel should be turning that wheel, you know, because there's a differential. So when I turn this wheel, if it's in neutral, that wheel should spin backwards and it doesn't turn at all. This, the fact that this wheel turns and that wheel doesn't is very weird. It does not spin. And the thing is, it's locked solid. Not the brakes. Ah, it does feel brakey again. I think we can, what's the simplest way to put it on the trailer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're, I think we're, I think we're the to there. Way to put This is a 1984 Wolfsburg edition, which is kind of a unique thing. And we got some awesome, awesome stories from the owner, uh, the seller. He, he drove this around with his family for 10 years. Oh, they went on some crazy adventures. It was really cool. So that's awesome. That's going to Dan. Dan's gonna hopefully put that back on the road and, and live out more adventures. Keep this one alive. This is a Synchro I bought, a 1986 Synchro. Um, it's missing more or less uh, half of the engine. Um, and it's pretty rusty, but it's good underneath. So I don't know what our plan is with this yet. We might put it back on the road. We might make it like a fun vehicle. We might just have to part it out. I don't know. You know, that's one of the things. I want to save them all, but the reality of it is in order to save them all, some of them have to die. So this might be the one that gets cut up to save some others. I don't know. Anyway, we've got them all. We walked into the auction house and Dan just finds a piano and starts doing piano things. <laughs> do it, do it, do what you just did. That was amazing. Okay, so uh, we just got back from David's place and we unloaded the Westphalia roof. He wanted to keep that for other projects, so uh, we got four guys on there and we got that off. But I don't think we scratched the roof too bad. Um, now we are in Wyalusing, PA, up in the hills, and it is just, it is just gorgeous. And it became such a beautiful day. So, so far it's towing okay. The truck is having problems. Uh, the check engine light stays on, but it also blinks and beeps at us sometimes. It's fine. It's probably fine, Dan says. Um, so we got black smoke to come out of the car. This is fine. So we had the 84 towed back to Dan's camp, supposedly. But there's no cell signal back here. We're not sure how well the address is marked. And we haven't heard from the driver, so <laughs> we're really hoping that in a couple minutes we're gonna turn the corner and there's an 84 Vanagon in his driveway and not just missing or in someone else's driveway. Excited. There it is! <laughs> it's here. Oh, awesome. They got it in a great spot, too. Thanks. We're back at the ranch. There they are. So that got delivered properly. Now we're going to go through and check out some of the parts we got because they're full of parts. And I have no idea what's in there. 
Let's put a chin on it. It makes it look better. First reveal of the engine. What do you think? It's missing a lot of stuff. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, uh, like it's it... not missing anything. Oh, it's just at an angle. It's because... at an angle because it doesn't have a transmission in it. Uh, it's missing a power steering pump. Yeah, it's missing power steering pump. It's uh, missing half the air box, but you have that other half. Um, this wiring job looks dubious. It has the hoses. It has the H pipe. It has an air conditioning compressor. I think he was planning to make this a Westie. I think he was planning to drive this. Yeah. I mean, he was driving it. He just stole the transmission out of it. That sounds good. It's got AC, or this motor did. It's got the ECU on the wiring harness. The ECU is behind the left tail light there. Nope. Back there. Here? Right there. It's ECU. How come this has got an air compressor? Air conditioning. Where's the... Just the front... Oh, it's only up front? It's only up front. Oh, that's... Looking at that. I wonder what other vehicles get 4.8 miles to the gallon. I don't know of any. I'm thinking cranes. Tr trains? <laughs> I think a, tra a train probably does about that. Like a locomotive. I can't wait to drop this thing and get more than six miles to the gallon. That's where our gas mileage is going rolling coal on a gasoline car. Okay, so we've arrived at our final destination. Well, our final destination for the time being. The bus is being stored in this beautiful barn that belongs to a friend of ours. They said we can keep it here for a little while while we make some decisions. Honestly, we don't know what we're gonna do with this bus just yet, and we want you to help us decide. The question is, is it too rusty to put back on the road and then we have to part it out? Or does it make sense as a good project? So I'm giving you three options and we want you to comment below. Should we take this car, which has been off the road since 1995, and put it back on the road? Or should we part it out, allowing these parts to keep the fleet of Vanigans that we have staying alive? Let's steal the heart out of this and stick it in something else, right? Or do we take the synchro components from this and transfer them into a West Westphalia that's a nice clean one? We don't have it yet, but we could get one. What do you think? Should we go with one and put it back on the road? Should we go with two and part it out so it keeps other buses alive? Or should we go with three where we, you know, make another Synchro Westie? Honestly, comment below. We really value your input and I appreciate you watching this whole time. This has been a really fun journey. We've driven like 700 miles. It's been a good time. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Do the things. You know the things. Take care.